Huerta, born in 1930, is known for her leadership in the labor and civil rights movements. When she was young, her mother set a good example for her by being kind and helpful to others, as well as being active in community affairs. Ms. Huerta taught school for a short time before deciding that she could do more good in her community by helping poor families that were being treated unfairly by their employers. She worked for organizations that helped people register to vote and encouraged city leaders to improve the conditions in the barrios, or poor neighborhoods where many Hispanic families lived. She worked with Cesar Chavez to found the National Farm Workers Association as many as 50,000 farm workers were members of this union. In 1965, they successfully asked the people of the United States to boycott or refuse to buy California grapes, while the farm workers were on strike asking the farm owners for better pay. Miss Huerta has been arrested many times while involved in peaceful protests, but hasn't let that stop her from working for the poor. She also works to improve women's rights. She encourages Hispanic women to run for political offices. She says that women make up over half the population and wants them to be much more involved in politics. She's received many awards for the work she's done in both the labor and civil rights areas. In 2012, President Barack Obama awarded Dolores Huerta the Presidential Medal of Freedom. say thanks for hanging with us these last two weeks. We're up. We're gonna miss you guys. Sure will. We loved helping your school. Well, I've got a pizza party to get to. Peace out. I can't wait for you guys to get your prizes. You're gonna love them. This has been your final reminder from WPZA, your pizza party network. Pizza out. Strappy. Hold on tight and get ready for an exciting ride at the Scholastic Book Fair. Find books with twists and turns. And good time fun. Books that will jumpstart your brain. And books that will make you laugh out loud. The books you'll want to read and own are at your Scholastic Book Fair. It's coming soon. This is Miss Tracy, and we're going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. So take your right hand and put it on top of your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.